Vice President Indonga Wina has described First President Kenneth Kaunda as a visionary who worked for the improvement of the welfare of the people. Mrs. Wina says Dr. Kaunda pioneered the establishment of factories, various infrastructures such as schools and health facilities across the country. She was speaking in Mansa today in a speech read for her by Deputy Secretary to the Cabinet for Finance and Economic Development, Mike Masie, during the funeral service of Dr. Kaunda held at the United Church of Zambia UCZ St. Paul's congregation. The body of the founding father of the nation, Kenneth Kaunda, was in Luapula province. This was to accord the people of Luapula an opportunity to mourn and pay their last respects to Dr. Kaunda. Many stood on the roadside to bid farewell to Dr. Kaunda as others waved white handkerchiefs. Dr. Kaunda's body was driven to the United Church of Zambia St. Paul's Church in Mansa for the funeral service. Vice President Inongewina was represented by Deputy Secretary to the Cabinet for Finance and Economic Development. It is my prayer that we will continue to uphold the legacy of our beloved father, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, as we champion his motto of One Zambia, One Nation. Dr. Kenneth Kaunda lived his life for many people, both in Zambia and abroad. He was a steadfast leader, a freedom fighter, an exemplary humanist, and his immense contributions to our nation and across the borders are very clear for all of us to see. We've heard. UCZ Luapula Presbytery has paid tribute to Dr. Kaunda and has since aged Zambians to emulate the legacy. To bring 72 chimes into a special and single family under a motto, one Zambia, one nation. And this is very unique to us. As if this was not enough, the Lord further endorsed peace through Dr. Kaunda upon the nation of Zambia in the Choma Declaration. The Kaunda family is grateful for the support rendered during the funeral. Luapola is the 60th province to pay last respects to Dr. Kaunda. The remains of the first president have since returned to Lusaka. Ruth Chainda, ZNBC News, Mansa.